Okay, test number two. Like I said, I got a uh, brand new microphone, the Blue Ice. I think it is the Blue Ice. Uh, a little round with a little bit of, with a little small tripod, I guess you can say. Look, well, it's a tri tripod. Anyway, it's just recorder number two. I'm trying to get everything adjusted here. Uh, and today we are in the MD80, the Mad Dog X, um, Italia, uh, Lydia, uh, yeah, the Green Plane, okay? <laughs> and we are in uh, KMEM Memphis, Tennessee, and this is just a recording to test recording. Um, as you see, I'm testing frame rates. I got about this about a month ago well, when it first came out, whenever it came out. And uh, I like it. It got a few, few glitches with it, uh, which are things that I can't get done. And that's how it is when you're trying to learn a plane. and You don't really know that much about it. But uh, this is the uh, FS Dream Team scenery, which I said take a hit. You see my... My frame rate's not that great, but don't worry about it. Also, when I pop back into the plane, it has a hard time rendering. Uh, it takes about 15 seconds for it to render it all the way out sometimes, which, you know, can be a... Uh, not, I'm not going to say let down because it's not a let down, but it can be, you know, a disturbing factor when you're trying to get something recorded. So this is how long it actually takes to render out things. And actually too, I'm using Shadow um, shadow Play. I usually use OBS, but uh, Shadow Play, I'm just doing some testing. I probably will go back to um, OBS uh, just to see what's going to what's gonna be the best uh, with this frame rate anyway we're back in here and what I want to do is actually uh, uh, let's see get the plane set up a little bit here and I'll go by initializing the position of it we'll put that uh, that GNS position in there and then we'll put the K uh, the uh, reference air port is K M E M knows exactly where it's at and uh, actually right now we don't have a route uh, what I'm gonna do is just take off here and uh, see what the frame brace look like it's very very terrible because as you know shuttle play uses the G uh, it doesn't use the CPU it's not CPU but flight simulator is very CPU intensive so Shadow Play tries it uses the G the GPU instead of the CPU to uh, so you get more uh, better frame rates. As this is right now, I have uh, I have it on a uh, medium settings. Of course, another thing about it is I did buy the Orbex Global uh, Base Pack vectors and something else uh, the three main packs that you need however did not buy <laughs> North America pack maybe it'll do better when I buy that anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna I like this this uh, MD80 I don't know why I want to call it MD82 but I always call it it's MD80 so all the buttons and the whistles and everything kind of uh, match uh, lines up so it works not lines up works so right now we run the APU off the, the plane. Um, if you go to so much fuel we got, cause we're not, we're just really gonna take off. Uh, we got 10,000 pounds of fuel, and uh, what we'll do is go in and set the. Uh, I don't want to do that one. That's uh, this one. Set the destination to anywhere. I'm just gonna put. Uh, let me see. Okay, MSY. And if this is right, might be wrong. 
That's right, KMSY. And I'm just going to activate it. Uh, put some numbers in here. Fuel schedule. We'll put 10,000. 10.0 slash the N. But you got to put the slash N or it won't, let, it won't take it. Um, gross weight. What you can do with the gross weight is very simple. Go over here to gross weight right here. Put that in a 104.3. So I'm going to put on in the, in the gross weight. And it should do the rest of it. Let's put 104.3. Gross weight, and so that fills in your zero fuel weight reserves. We're gonna put 2,000 in reserves. Uh, just say if we wanna, we're gonna put the cruise at this altitude at 190, 19,000. Uh, the cruise winds we're not gonna worry about. We will look at the temp. Uh, and I use whether it's right or not, I don't know, but I use this right here as the, as the temp, which is probably teetotally wrong. Uh, matter of fact, what you could do is tune into the Memphis 80 and we'll see what the 14. 292 ILS left, right, and center. Alright. So all at the same. So 14 the outside temperature, 14 Celsius. Put that in there. Uh the cruise wind on the I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go to the takeoff page and take off page uh, it's uh actual take off weight i mean what you do is just put these uh on dry because it is dry so we'll put 115 in here for v1 we rotate it's 118 and 127 for v2 uh, of course, it's gonna read different. Q and H is two, nine and nine four. Outside air temperature fourteen, and of course, that's coming off the flight simulator itself. So, uh, what I do when I get to this point here is go up to the takeoff right here and put that in your takeoff. So to set your EPR limits. Okay? That's my little deal with it. Now, uh, departure page, because we're just going to get in the air. We're not going to necessarily. Uh, we will just go south on 8, <coughs> excuse me, 18 left. I don't know what uh I don't know I don't have a actually can do that right now so what we'll do is click back to my main page here and go into just to get some kind of reference you know matter of fact let's not do that Let's do American Pacific one five seven six Sierra two Sierra Papa Charlie Charlie. Let's do landing on thirty four and thirty six let's do the thirty six. It took a while for that thing if it it's not coming up. It did come up. No, we're not going to do that. We exit it out for right now. Don't worry about it. Memphis Brown, Cessna, November 5, 
And I was trying to figure out, but uh. I tell you what we'll do. Uh, what I was trying to do is figure out the uh um, Memphis Brown World Travel Two Nine 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 with New Back ready to taxi IFR. World Travel Two Departures on this bit. Now, since we got all this stuff right here set up, uh, we got pretty much got all this tech set up. Pre-flight is complete. Uh, we get rid of this. Uh, how we do that? Yeah, I like this little chart here because it's very, very hip, nifty. It goes straight to everything you need to get to. Anyway, like I said, the main purpose of this is to uh, actually take off. Um, so right now you got to do when you don't do a checklist as I have learned not to do um, get rid of yoke uh, we're gonna turn some hydraulics on I turn all my stuff on because first of all it's not gonna hurt it yeah I know the technical people gonna say ah, well you know you need to cut it off but I'm not that technical so I turned that on and something I forget to turn on sometimes I had to turn these levers on uh, as a matter of fact I'm going over my checklist that I always get to turn on because I don't did it a hundred times and I forget to turn all this stuff on so everything looks good what we're going to do is pop back down to this window here because I want to look at this messed up route and how you do that is need that and I need my that right there and go on with the plan legs so this is 36 center which is gonna go up north actually it's going 36 is 360 degrees north and kicks all the way back around uh, I'll do it like that and then we'll step this because something is gonna be wrong step it out top of climb oh. So, it gets good. I did good all the way till I got to I Buffy. And what we'll do is pop this into that and see will it help it. And we'll go back to the steps. Uh, let me pop this up a little bit. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> so, it looks like we can take the. TBD out, erase it, uh, erase the TB, TBD 24, uh, execute, execute that, and, uh, uh, 
look like we're gonna have to mud bug is okay uh -huh. the oleo transition is looks like what's kind of jacking it up right now uh, we also don't need these um, safes right here we're gonna delete that we're gonna just hold on one second my friends
Yeah, I know I had a emergency thing or whatever you want to call it, wife call them to get something. Anyway, we're going to erase safe. Erase the safe because they are, um, we don't need them. They are um, go arounds, whatever. So I usually erase that like that. We don't need that safe. We don't need Alido. Uh, Alido? So we can erase that safes. Execute that. And if you want to, we can go step back through it. Um, it makes a loop all the way across, all the way down. And so if we erase Olito, we delete that. transition or uh, whatever it is. Execute to see what it does. Um I'm bring turtle up to I Buffy and we'll see what that do. Uh, so that is the uh I need to erase one more thing here. That's a mud bug right there. Turtle mud bug and so we can erase this uh, vectors uh, initially that's what was going to take us out to our hold so we erase that uh, erase this and then execute and that brings us right into uh, runway 11 so if you step it back out now blow it up just one more So if you step it out now from your initial climb, which we're located here, we're going uh, 36 Charlie, and we'll be going making a hard, well, yeah, hard left turn. So really, it's beneficial to keep the speed kind of low uh, coming out of here uh, to be all, to see, be all good. Uh, there you go. Be all to Pyramid, Emacs, House, Who's, Who's, uh, to uh, BB, and Pipey, and Buffy. Turtle and mud bug, and we should be. The thing about this is that, uh, as you see, these are kind of conflicting because you got five thousand or above here, and then it goes back up to nineteen thousand. Uh, this is five. This is four thousand above here. So really, uh, we can't use the VNet. Well, we can. We can put. Um, See mud bug, we be at two thousand. Got to be at turtle. It's supposed to says four thousand. Uh, that's a five mile. So, uh, just for the hell of it, what I uh, would do is put slash uh, four thousand. There. And then this, it went all the way back up to flight level 19,000. Uh, 19, so modified a little bit and put 4,000 here. That kind of makes it look better. And but um, it's a conflict here anyway because it's. 4,000 to 2,000 and mud bug is your long, only one as you see it's a five mile radius in here so that's two and a half miles to get it's gonna be a we're not gonna really follow that <laughs> or really it's kind of can't follow it
But, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this. Got an attitude restriction. I don't know why it's got that. That's 33 miles, 5 miles. So it's got 240 nautical miles, but that's not, that is not right. 242. So that's can't be right. Because the whole route isn't that far. You know, that's about it's not that far. Anyway, we're I'm not gonna worry about that. We're gonna uh From Pipey to I Buffy, it's five hundred seventy sixteen miles. Yeah, so that's that's not right. But anyway, uh, we we'll switch this back to map mode. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. And pretty much that's about it as far as the planning goes on that. So now what I'd like to do is go here and uh, we already got our weights and fuel set up. So we got 25%. And uh, we will adjust our trim down. The thing you do is hold the button down and it'll go. When you get ready to stop it, click it again. Left click it. Still not quite yet. Still not there yet. Uh, I'm gonna say this real, real close. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty close. He's trying to match this with that. And also, uh, with the dial a flap, I'm gonna put it on 15 for our flap setting. Uh, and let's see what else we need to do. We can, uh, there's two ways to set this because you can't see it so good. Let me see if I get another view of it. Uh, maybe this side. Anyway, it's your um, TCAS right here. It's your TCAS. You can test it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. See. Sorry, that's the um, TCAS range mode. Anyway, here's your test. Uh, test it if you push it all the way over here. But TCAS system test OK. So if you put it all the way over here to R A T A T A R A, transmit and receive, uh, everything is good. Your bugs here, flaps should be all the way up by 200, but 100. And 69, 68, 69. And that's pretty much all I do. Um, also, I got to go one more click here on my thing. And what this does is what I'm going to show you is, as, to, as right now, you don't have any. Uh, got takeoff here. But to get this to read takeoff, to go down here and click one of these buttons here, and then it should go to take off. Like that there. So we still got 10,000 pounds of total fuel. I mean, right at 10,000 pounds. Like I said, a bit, really the thing about this is to get it up in the air. If you 
if you with me this far, we had a long pause and had to go somewhere and do something, but you can skip, I hope you skip to the end of this video well, to where I start messing back, messing with it again. So right now what we're going to do is uh, cut the taxi lights on, and I think, not for sure, uh, you cut these are the basically taxi lights. Uh, I'm not for sure. And I know here go your collision lights, strobe lights, go finna fire up the engines. Uh, so everything is on on that side. Then uh, when we get to the runway, we'll cut these off. These two are off. And we'll cut the rest of the lights on on this side. Anyway. So for right now and I hate doing this but I am gonna do it um, use the ATC Knowledge of taxi clearance. I'm going to cut on the uh, progressive taxi. This says taxi and taxi for April and November Mike 2. November Mike 2. So. Let's jump back outside. You know we got the runner back in. Trying to see where I'm at. So now what we'll do is make sure that the doors, all the doors are closed. Make your door little door map thing. All that is closed. I think we did do a test here, I think. Kind of busy in Memphis today. One thing I cannot figure out is uh, how to get this girl to prepare to take off. I don't know. You gotta open some or close some. I never can get to do it. Let's see. Okay. So we are where it got. <clears throat> what we need to do? Let me. I, I want to see if GSX want to play good today. Uh, we're gonna go push back. I use Delta. So GSX does want to play today, ironically. Hello, Captain. Yeah, You're right. For push back. Okay, so. GSX is playing. Locking gear. Only thing, but it, it said 